If you or a loved one take a cholesterol lowering medicine, then you absolutely need to watch this video until the end. If you know someone you care about who takes a cholesterol lowering medication, please share this video with them. This is breaking news and this is quite important. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and we're gonna be discussing a new research article published in the Journal of Nuclear Medicine that shows that some cholesterol medicines can double your risk of developing dementia years before you should. I'm going to tell you what this new research study found and more specifically, which specific cholesterol lowering medications you and your family need to avoid so that you don't double your risk for dementia. Researchers separated the 392 participants in this study based on three criteria baseline cognitive status at the beginning of the study, baseline cholesterol levels, and the type of statin that those patients were already taking. The researchers not only collected objective and subjective data on the patient's cognitive decline during the study, but they also did PET scans on the patients before and at the completion of the study, and what the PET scans found is, is quite concerning. The researchers found through subjective and objective testing that patients with mild cognitive impairment or normal cognition, that's, that's you currently, who use lipophilic statins were found to have more than double the risk of developing dementia compared to statin non-users. Then when the researchers performed PET scans on the brains of these patients later in their study, they found that the PET scan of users of lipophilic statins also prevent, presented a significant drop in metabolism in the posterior cingulate cortex. This is the area of the brain known to decrease the most substantially in Alzheimer's dementia. Now the question you're asking right now, I hope is, what's the list of lipophilic statins I need to know because I'm taking something to lower my cholesterol. Am I taking one of these drugs? So the lipo lipophilic statins as defined by Clement et al. in a research paper I'll link down below are a torvastatin, which is marketed in the United States as Lipitor, fluvastatin, which is marketed as Lescol, lovastatin, which is marketed as Mevacor, uh, patavastatin, which is mar marketed as Lavalo, and simvastatin, which is marketed as Zocor. The hydrophilic statins, which didn't seem to show this same doubling of dementia risk, are pravastatin, which is marketed as Pravacol, and rosuvastatin, which is marketed as Crestor. Important to note that this study did not look at the PCSK9 inhibitors, which are evolocumab, uh, marketed as Repatha, and alirocumab, which is marketed as Prouillant. This study did not consider these two drugs, so we don't know if these two currently double your risk of dementia or not. That's yet to be, to be determined by further research. So if you or a loved one have either normal cognition or early cognitive decline, you need to absolutely avoid the lipophilic statins. Uh, 100% and then also continue to monitor very closely your cognitive status if you're taking a hydrophilic statin or if you're taking one of the PCSK9 inhibitors. I've included links to all the research down in the show notes below. Again, I implore you, if you know anyone taking a cholesterol lowering medicine, share this video with them ASAP so that if they happen to be taking one of these dangerous lipophilic statins, they can call their doctor and get changed to something else. If you've noticed any change in your memory, your cognitive function, or your ability to think and reason while taking a cholesterol lowering medication, please share your story in the comments so that the other watchers can learn as well. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.